Hello friends. So today we are going to talk about cement sector. Now in cement sector, most of the stocks are not performing, at least from last few months. And big stocks, uh, big companies like you no know, Ultratech, uh, then uh, ECC Ambuja, then also they have performed a little bit over the last one or two years. But when we talk about the smaller stocks, okay, uh, uh, mid cap or small cap, these stocks are not performing like Ramco or you can talk about Shri Cement and all that. So when we talk about this, you know, what are the main reason why they are not performing? We'll, we'll talk about that in detail and what is the future outlook? Now, whatever price correction has happened in the cement sector, okay, now from here, how is the outlook, whether it will go up or not, we'll talk in detail. So welcome everyone. And guys, if you're still not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, click the below link and subscribe and do like this video. And you, if you have any question related to any stock or sector, put it in the question uh, comment box. I'll take it for this cement was been asked by uh, Aribund, uh, Priya, Rajeshwari and Rohan that no, please have a look on this cement sector. So we'll talk about five main points five reason why the cement stocks are not performing and what is the outlook so when we talk about the first reason the first reason is nothing but no if you it is weak demand due to first of all the election period you know that june uh, there was an election june 6 uh, was the final date but of course may june complete election period was that april may june and at that time no stock uh, no the demand was quite less also, the another reason was the longer monsoon duration. Now, if you know, then no monsoon this time was about normal, very good for farmers and all that. But for normally, the for the cement sector, normally whenever there is a longer duration of uh, monsoon, no, the construction activity does not go on. And if the construction activity does not go on, you know, then it will have an impact on the demand. So overall, if you see that now that monsoon also was one of the culprit. You know, why? The demand uptick was not demand was very very low oh, across the board and uh, if you see the uh, demand was almost you can say though, less than one person okay again the second first quarter was completely wash out second quarter maybe also wash out but however after that you can see that no it will be slowly and gradually the demand may pick up from the third quarter onwards that is what the hope is there but yes, demand was quite less over the time. Again, the second reason was nothing but the decline in prices. If you talk about the prices decline, almost two and a half percent quarter and quarter, there was a decline in prices in the cement uh, stocks, not stocks, but the per unit of cement uh, that uh, bag. Also, uh, the reason was one of the reason was that there was a price cut across the region, mostly in south. South, there was a cut of almost three and a half percent. Now, this is a big cut. OK, now because of this cut, now it will directly impact your profitability because one is the price what you are charging. And then, you know, if you deduct the cost, that is what your profit is there. And because of this cut, the uh, no, EBITDA started going down okay again the as i told you slowly and gradually the reversal of prices will happen but it will take some time it is not going to happen uh to uh no in one go and because of this price cut what happened the ebita of most of the cement companies has gone down a lot a uh, quite a good correction happened in ebita level also and that is what you can see in the stock prices also the stock prices are not moving up so yes, second reason was the declining price and as a result, there was a uh, lesser EBITDA level. Again, the third reason is the slower growth from here. Slower growth rate from here. The reason is uh, the demand is slowly and gradually picking up, but it is not going up. Okay, there may be almost a 2% year on year volume growth happening. And when we talk about the overall price you now, maybe around 5% in next few years, that is not a great growth. Okay. Now we are when your GDP is going at 7.2% and you are talking about the growth of maybe around 5%, which is lower than GDP. Somehow there is a mismatch between the growth and the what GDP is having. At least GDP is 7% but it is percent se badna chahiye na, it is you know, somehow the cement sector is representing a construction sector. And construction sector is bound to go up when the uh, economy is doing well. So overall, uh, that is what is one of the reason you know, that you know, the slower growth is going to happen in future and which is having, having a direct impact on the 
prices and also the demand see also there are many other reason we'll talk about that but at the end of the day you know when you're uh, you don't have a great demand then you have an inventory lack and when you have inventory you have to sell the stocks not stocks but sorry i'm uh, continuously whittling stock but you have to sell the per unit of uh, cement bag no very very you know comparatively at a discount rate and that is what you have to keep in mind okay now when we talk about this uh, demand is less than what the margin is going to go down see margin will not be directly impacting because as the cost of the coal prices and all that is actually going down okay almost you can say that 4.2 person you know thermal coal and the petcock when we talk about it is around 11.6 person they are down so as a result no your raw material prices are going down then the margin is going to sustain or it may go up only but the demand is going down that is why it will have a uh, nullifying effect okay so that you have to keep in mind the price hike honestly it may happen in future maybe after three months six months the price hike may happen then it will be much more beneficial for the cement company because you have raw material at a cheaper level and you are charging a higher price then your profitability normally goes up okay again uh, the demand if if we talk about the next uh, quarter or this quarter also october to december again the festival season is there and during the festival season also you know that not so much of demand is there and that is also going to have an impact on the uh, demand and which will have an impact on the pricing also everything is correlated at the end of the day but these are very very important points you have to keep in mind okay and uh, the growth is projected to uh, to increase in the real estate sector and the government initiative in the construction sector and all that because of course during the if you talk about the uh, april to june month due to the election fever election period no uh, uh, the uh, demand was not so great for the cement now as the now the new government is already there now you may see a demand pick up but it will take time it will take a lag of one or two quarter normally you no know, again to get that type of demand so keep this in mind guys again uh, no the another point which fourth point is nothing but no competition and consolidation now why this is important see if you see the the day adani acquired acc in ambuja i told you guys you know that because of this there may be a consolidation in the cement industry they'll try to acquire small small firms they are they are committed that they will be number one cement uh, company in the uh, in india now you know currently it is ultra tech cement ultra tech cement is also been owned by the billa Co corporation now because of such a high competition no you cannot charge more again any person if they reduce the price it will have a direct Im impact see it's a commodity business at the end of the day you don't need any big thing about you buy ecc cement or um, uh, ambuja cement or ultra tech cement i don't think there will be a big difference because people will go as for the prices wherever they feel that okay prices are lower they may go for that cement company rather than understanding the uh, quality and all that because quality is normal good only for all the cement uh, bags and all that so you have to keep in mind what is the you know thinking behind about no the customer the customer is uh, is actually sensitive it's a price sensitive for the cement stocks so that you have to keep in mind now as the consolidation is happening many more small firms are taken away by the large company it may happen that ultimately the two players will be there one is ultra tech and another is adanis okay and that is going to happen like the way it has happened in the telecom industry in cement industry is also one type of way that is happening so uh, this uh, this will have always a index on charging higher price and everything see it always used to say there is a cartel in cement companies but when you have such a high competition i don't know whether cartel will work or not but yes this a person cannot charge more than the competitor again the fifth and last point is excess capacity they have already added too much of capacity in 2023 i think it is one of the highest capacity build up by the cement companies in 2023 after 2010 uh, no capacity uh, upgrade so because of this capacity upgrade now whatever happened the current utilization is 68 to 70 percent only it is quite under utilized that means the demand is not so great 
एंड या तो कुछ ज्यादा ही कैपेसिटी हमने ऐड कर दी दैट देयर इज नो चेंज कमिंग इन द ओवरऑल फैक्टर सो कीप दिस इन माइंड गाइस दैट कैपेसिटी इज स्टिल नॉट एट 80 90% 80 90% होता है 95 यानी समझना कि देयर इज लॉट ऑफ डिमांड and that is what is pushing for the cement companies okay so this you have to give and it is expected that next few quarters also you know uh, there will be a uh, lesser capacity utilization maybe around 60 and 68 because of uh, you know all this stuff again guys uh, see the current situation is such that you now when we go through all the five points that bigger bigger firms are taking away the smaller firms and this is having an impact and this is where they are able to control the prices and all that if there is two player only one is adani and another is grasim uh, that is billa corporation aditya billa corporation i think there will be a very very fierce competition and that you always have to keep in mind guys whenever you are buying a uh, cement stock again when we talk about the, how the cement stocks has performed most of the large cap stocks like ambuja acc ultratech and all that they have performed quite well uh, in last one year also and over the years also but yes uh, now from last few months they are not performing when we talk about ramco cement shri cement and and all that no they have not performed at all okay unhone itna perform nahi kiya hai when we talk about the jk cement also no jk cement has performed in last year overall uh, but no from she cement jk cement was one of the multi bagger but last few uh, you can say quarters of these stocks are not doing so great so when we, and when we see the valuation part and everything valuation part and all that of course the larger firms are getting higher pe ratio above 14 above the average is around 38 and overall these stocks may remain expensive but i think i personally feeling that if you really want to go for any cement company better you go for the large stocks compared to going to smaller stocks because ultimately they will be taken away by the large corporation and from last few quarters the results are not so encouraging to invest in these cement companies so currently guys honestly uh, when we give recommendation i think i have not taken any cement companies on my team has not taken cement company for investment this is a disclaimer i am a savvy research research analyst but overall uh, guys once the price may go up and all the profitably goes up then we'll start thinking about it but you if you want to know how we are selecting the stock click the below link after a few words i am going to conduct one free workshop you can attend it so thank you for watching guys hope you like and do like and share this video to everyone subscribe to our channel and i'll see you soon in the next video